My name is Rick Gurley. I'm a licensed private investigator here in Columbia, Missouri. I'm licensed with the uh, Department of Professional Registration in Jefferson City, Missouri. It's a statewide license here in Missouri. It's a federal lawsuit. It was uh, Matthew Akins versus the Columbia Police Department. The attorney in the case for Mr. Akins was Steve Weiss. And Mr. Weiss asked me to pick up a subpoena and serve it on a couple of members of the police department uh, to produce documents. I'll tell you this, I started service on March 28, 2016 at 1.15 p.m. That was the first time that Denise Shaw was notified. She stated that Jill Schluty was in a meeting. On March 28, 2016 at 2.40, approximately an hour and 25 minutes later, um, I went back and um, Denise Shaw informed me that Jill Schluty was still in a meeting in her office. And then her supervisor came out and said that Jill Schluty was in a meeting off-premises. So we have a lie somewhere there. Either the supervisor lied to me or Denise Shaw lied to me. But one of them lied to me, intentionally lied, because each one of them informed me of this up in the administrative section of the police department at the, at the locked door that goes into the administrative section. And both of them were less than 30 feet from Jill Schluty's office when they told me of this. I got pictures of, of the hallway there. So after that at 3.15, I went to Steve Weiss's office and I asked him to issue a subpoena for Denise Shaw because I felt like she needed to account to the court as to why she was covering for Jill Schluty and assisting her and in intentionally avoiding a federal subpoena. So at 3.40, I went back. That's when I informed Denise Shaw that we had a subpoena for her. She communicated with me openly on the mic that it was her, that she was in the office. She knew she had a federal subpoena. She asked why. And when I told her because she needed to come to the court and explain why she was covering for Jill Schluty, she ceased all communication there. I waited in that lobby um, for until uh, oh after 5 o'clock that afternoon. An officer came out and asked me to leave the lobby because he said it was closed. He actually activated the camera on, on his um, chest and asked me to leave. And I informed him I had a federal subpoena. He did not care. And he asked me, he said the lobby was closed, I'd have to leave. I noticed when I came back that they had put black trash bags up over the windows in the office so nobody from the outside door that was locked could see through the window there into the hallway and see who was in their office and who wasn't. It was absolutely intentional. It was done while I was gone. Those bags weren't on that morning when I showed up. They were on that afternoon when I came back. So absolutely, it was just specifically so that I could not see in there and see who was in their offices at the time. There's no doubt about it. Jill and Roger uh, Schluty are married. Roger's a, oh, uh, he's actually one of the defendants on this case in Matt Aiken's um, federal lawsuit. <laughs> Why don't you get your hand out of your pocket? Fine, and walk on. We want to allow you harassing us. Hi, right, let me get this on the camera. I, I, I really wouldn't want to speculate, but I will say this. She's fully aware that her husband, Roger Schluty, is a defendant in this federal lawsuit. So we have an officer, an administrative tech, and the deputy chief of police avoiding service um, of a federal subpoena. That should infuriate the judge, and it should infuriate the chief of police. And something should be done about this. And the citizens in Columbia should be making calls to the police department because their police department is flaunting the rule of law in a federal um, lawsuit. Jill Schluty is a police officer who is obligated to follow the law. This is a federal subpoena. There are guidelines set out under the federal rules of, uh, of civil procedure on how they are handled. This was contempt. This was a police officer who, who, who touts to, to society that we have to follow the law or, or they're going to enforce the law and there's penalties for that, who is breaking the law. She blatantly broke the law. Now, most of the time, judges try to be reasonable, try to be understanding. In this particular case, um, I believe that sanctions are called for because Jill admits that she knew I was in the building. She's admitted that in a deposition. She admits that she knew I was there to serve a federal subpoena. She admits that in the deposition, all right? She admits that she avoided service, that she did not come to the door. She admits that. So that's a willful and blatant violation of the civil rules of uh, federal procedure, federal rules of civil procedure. Um, and it's an, it should upset the judge.